start, you know, you've had a lot of success in the romance genre. Last year, you had the map of tiny perfect things. This year, with the in between, what is it about this genre that excites you as a creative? Um, I I find it really fascinating because uh, I, right now I, I feel like we get to tell stories that are more female centric. I, I think that they're they're less classically, you know romantic and, and the, you know, the woman plays a very specific role and the guy plays a very specific role. We don't, you know, differ from that. And I think something that's really unique about the, the map of tiny perfect things and this film is that there's, there's kind of a twist. There's a spin, you know, Joey King leads this one and uh, Catherine Newton don't really want to spoil anything, but she actually is the central story of, of that film as well. And I feel like that's really important. And I feel really honored to be able to support, you know, these, these actresses in their, in their, in their careers and in telling these more modern stories. And there's a great chemistry that comes off the screen between you and Joey. And because of the pandemic, you were never able to be in the same room before you were cast. Was there a moment on set when you realized you had the spark necessary to bring this love story to life? Yeah, I mean that's honestly that's all her. She's she's super friendly. She's super down to earth. I mean, I think people might see her in her interviews being like bubbly and fantastic and and friendly, and they might wonder if she's really like that. And she is twenty four seven, three sixty five. She is absolutely a powerhouse of joy and openness and love, and a a an unrelenting professional. It is absolutely gifted in in the art of filmmaking. Um, so it was, it was a master class on. <laughs> On life. Yeah, at the heart of the story is a young woman who's trying to reconnect with your character. If you were able to communicate with somebody from the other side, who would it be and why? Ooh, I think it would be my grandfather. I, I never got on my, on my, well, either of my grandfathers. I actually have only met one of my grandparents, but I just, I feel sometimes I feel like I miss that history that kind of coming from somewhere, you know? And I think like, perhaps I speculate because I was never, I had a, a one grandparent that I wasn't particularly close to um, who passed away when I was still very young. Um, but I, I, I think that history, that sense of coming from somewhere, you know, you gather from, well, the people who come before you that produced you. Um, <laughs> so I think that, I think, I think that's who I want to chat up. Yeah, great answer. And there's so many endearing moments between Tessa and Skylar. Is there a particular scene that you're really excited for, your fans to see when the film drops? And what do you hope they take away? Yeah, I think it would be, I would, I really love the, the scene that we do in the end, in the in-between, just where we're, where we're saying goodbye. I think that was one of the, that was a huge point when I first read the script. I was like, this scene's going to be great. Um, and so I really wanted to make sure we were building towards that. And when we did it, I was like, that, that was, that was honest. That was the, we, like, we really, we did that the way it was supposed to be done. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to that scene, but the, the good, the goodbye scene where, where Tess and Skylar, you know, I don't want to spoil anything, but they, they do say goodbye to each other. Um, and I, I think, I think films for me have always been really affirming uh sort of you you feel all these different and crazy things in your life and in your own head and you you experience them and then they they kind of like stay with you and i feel like in a in a film they get reflected back to you and so hopefully these these you know young being young and having you know extreme loss and, and really difficult circumstances and emotions we can sort of reflect that and that healing process back back to people